Windows XP went to retail on October 25th, 2001. It was the biggest change to the Windows operating system since Windows 95. The interface was completely redesigned, including the start menu, which switched to a two-column layout with the ability to list, pin, and display frequently used applications and recently opened documents. The taskbar now had the ability to group windows opened by a single application into one taskbar button with a pop-up menu listing the individual windows. The taskbar can also be locked to prevent accidental movement or other changes. The welcome screen and fast user switching were also introduced. This allowed home users to easily switch between user accounts so that more than one person could use a PC. The classic login option for professionals was still available. Windows Explorer's sidebar was also updated to use a new task-based design with lists of common actions. Windows XP also included an interactive tour which introduced new Windows users to the operating system and showed them the basics of what Windows XP offered for both consumers and professionals. As an effort to prevent piracy, Windows product activation was also introduced. This requires each Windows license to be activated and tied to a unique ID. Before Windows XP, all consumer versions of Windows were based on the Windows 9X kernel, while all of the professional versions were based on the NT kernel. This means there were always two separate versions of Windows at the same time, one for consumers and one for professionals. With Windows XP, things became a lot more simplified. Instead of having two versions released simultaneously to each other, Windows XP brought both the consumer and professional markets together in one release. This meant that home users got access to the Windows NT kernel, which is much more secure, stable, and efficient than the Windows 9X kernel. Windows XP was known as many code names before its final release, including Neptune, Odyssey, and Whistler. On February 5th, 2001, Microsoft officially announced that Whistler would be known as Windows XP, which was short for Experience. This marked a new beginning for Microsoft and the Windows operating system, as most previous versions of Windows were based on simply the version number, or release year. Windows XP is, without a doubt, one of the most influential versions of Windows ever released by Microsoft. Combined with new visual styles, Windows NT infrastructure, and name, Windows XP truly gave both consumers and professionals an experience they won't soon forget. Windows XP support ends today, but 30% of PC users are still using Windows XP. If you are still using Windows XP, you will no longer receive security updates and patches from Microsoft. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for all the information you need to know about the Windows XP end of support. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.